When I saw that this job was an opportunity that I could be a part of, I was so excited because I could be in an environment with warm water, clear visibility, and a mock-up international space station in one area, which is like diving the biggest shipwreck you've ever seen. I never thought in a million years I would end up at NASA, and I am so grateful that I have. My name is Arielle Valdez. I'm a dive operations specialist at the NASA Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory in Houston, Texas. I provide training support for the astronauts that are planning on going to the International Space Station and for future lunar operations. My office, the pool, is a 40 foot deep, 6.2 million gallon pool. It's about 86 degrees and clear visibility. It's a mock-up of the International Space Station, as well as the lunar sand area with rocks. What I love about my job is that we are doing something that's really exciting. It's focused on the future and the unknown, and I do get to float underwater. The astronauts train here in our pool because this is a very close environment to what it would be like in space for them when they're actually on a spacewalk. They will practice translating and working on different tasks, replacing different things. The astronauts have six hours to perform their task on a spacewalk, and there is a lot of people involved so they want to make sure they practice this over and over so that it, when they go out and actually do it, it's done easily. A typical day starts here with us coming in and doing a medical check-in. That's the first thing that we do. We then will set up our gear and do a mission brief. After that, we get ready, changed out in the water, and we dive. Generally, on a test run, we'll either be supporting the astronauts by being safety divers, camera divers, utility divers. If we're safety divers, we're providing support directly to the subject. If you're a utility diver, you're taking care of the mock-ups and the tools provided for the subjects. And if you are a float diver, you're providing a live feed camera view to the test conductors. As a camera diver, I get to sit back and enjoy the entire run watching the astronauts, the other safety divers, and the work sites. You really get to see what they're doing and how they're doing it and be a part of it from an outside view. Being an NBL diver has opened up so many doors and opportunities for me. And the amount of things I get to learn here at NASA, besides just being a diver, is incredible. Safety is crucial here at NASA for us in our job to make sure that we are safe, the astronauts safe, and we can complete the mission. Here at the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, I'm also an environmental control systems operator where I monitor the astronauts' gas supply, water flow, and pressure throughout the run. If they need anything or more cooling, I'm there to provide that. So my brothers were both divers and my mom would take them on dive trips. I really wanted to join them, but I was too young. And when I was old enough, I went to a summer camp where they actually provided that as a course. By the end of it, I was a junior open water certified diver. The path that led me to NASA was originally starting as a sound engineer, graduating from school for that. I then became a certified scuba instructor and I was able to travel the world for a few years, which was incredible experience. I decided that I wanted to learn more about medicine. So I got into emergency medical training, which brought me back to diving, dive medicine, and then to commercial diving school. After I completed commercial diving school, I applied for NASA and moved within a month. I did not know that they would have a position or so many broad positions for people other than what you'd typically think, an astronaut or a rocket scientist. I get to work with incredible people from all over the world. I thought by choosing to be a diver, I would be leaving the STEM field when in fact it brought me closer and in the middle of it. What I would say to students who don't think that they're cut out for a STEM field would be anything is possible and to keep focusing on the things that you do love. The chances are it is valid here at NASA and in STEM. STEM is so broad and diverse. If you want to be a diver at NASA, get in the water and keep diving and work on the things that you are passionate about the chances are that they are helpful here for us at the MBL.